Ladies and gentlemen, it is your host here. Once again, it is Team Ryan right now. Have you got the opportunity to watch the very first video of the day? If not, smash a bell and you will get a notification from YouTube. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe. Leave a comment from the article. My social media accounts will be down below. Also, share, share, share. Thank you, thank you very much. Now it is time once again to discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now, if you like, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some drink. Now, if you don't do it like that, maybe you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on the subject. And of course, the article will be down below. Let's rock and roll. Now, does anyone out there is a fan of the real? You remember him? He had a few with Rey Mysterio when he first came into WWE. He won the very first ever 40 man Royal Rumble back in the day. He won the Money Bank and all good stuff. And eventually, WWE released him or he asked for a release. I did not care for him. He was complaining that WWE brought him back. Because he, I guess he thought that when he brought him back, he's going to get a big push. He got buried to, to John Cena. I don't like the real. He's a JBL ripoff. He really is. You know, a rich guy. Um, I know instead of um, having him in his own limo, he have a different vehicle every single episode of Raw and even SmackDown. So... All that good stuff. So I don't care for him. I hopefully never ever come back to the damn company. So and then he had a a thing for Paige and Paige um, broke it off with him. So much drama between him. What an idiot, you know? Okay, the real claim he has been in touch with W. Yeah, right. Regarding a return to the company, however, it seemed that. Not, not, sorry. It seemed that might not be the case. So that's just a freaking rumor. He is full of crap, this guy. According to a fight for selection, the contract, the connecting with the company after the real claim to being a close to returning in, in 2020, a source of the company denies that starting it was all BS. So... It's just a false rumor. I hopefully this is not real. It says, you know what? It's just a cover up. I mean, he is going to return sometime in 2020. W does not need him. And too much distractions backstage. And I think, didn't he hit a reporter backstage? That's why he got released, I think. Let me know down below. Was it recently? I did not like him. He sucks. He does not belong in the WWE. Maybe in another wrestling promotion, but not in the WWE. Maybe AEW will give him a chance. Who knows? Now, does he own that name? Or the, 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 does he own that name, the real? Or the WWE owns that name? You know, I don't like him. Like I said before, do you like him? What is your favorite match? Oh yeah, he faces Edge. And that was Edge's last match. Now, if Edge was not injured, I think the real post would be the new world champion in 2011. And it was a pretty good match, but I think Edge posted to lose that match. But then they found out that um, Edge was going to retire anyway. And look at he's back. Go figure. So what's your thoughts on this article? And all that good stuff. So once again, like, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the notification, hit the subscribe. The article will be down below. My social media accounts will be down below. So everyone out there, enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. And I'll be back tonight sometime. Later, Gators.